Hello and welcome to Song Tips and the tutorial of 885 microprocessor. Today in this video, I am going to talk about the timing diagram of the instruction. So, in, according from today, I will be with all the timing diagram of the instruction like MVI, LXI, everything I will be given in separate video. So, in one video, I will give the one instruction timing diagram. So, people will ask that I have already made some programming video and after get, giving this, I am giving you the timing diagram. But I think after doing the practical, you have the knowledge and you have, you have the idea what the instruction does. So uh, now if I want to say uh, the timing diagram, it will be very easy to understand for you. Before going into the timing diagram, I want to say some details of the timing diagram terms. First of all is instruction cycle. or uh, This is the term, it defines the number of stages required by the CPU to complete the entire process. Suppose you are giving the instruction MVI, the total time is taken to the MVI and the inputted the data to the register is total time is called here instruction set. Next is the machine cycle. It is the time required by the microprocessor to complete the operation of accessing the memory address, memory devices or the input output devices. Suppose you are want to give the in, suppose you want to retrieve the data from that memory location and the time required to fetch the content of that memory location it is defined by the machine cycle. Next is the T state and this is the clock cycle it is called T state. So is every instruction is timing is defined by this clock cycles or this T state and this is the uh, next one is the IO slash M bar this is the signal bar, signal status signal and it is it used to differentiate between the memory location or the input output operation whether the uh, it is low and denotes the memory related operation is going on and when it is high it denotes input output operation next one is the RD bar this is the active low signal and read memory or it is defined between the read memory or the input output device when it is the zero it is defined the read memory operation is going on and when it is one it is defined the input output device operation is going on it is the active low signal next one is the ALE or the address latch enable when it is set to one it defines the address will be passed to the common bus of the microprocessor and when it is zero it defines the data is passing through that common bus of AD0 to AD7. Next one is the status signal of the S0 or S1. There is the four combination is there 0001 1011 in the combination of S0 and S1 two signal and when it is 00 it defines the halt and the microprocessor in the halt state 01 defines that it is on write state 10 defines that it is on read state and when it is 11 it defines the opcode fetch of the of code you have entered and it retrieves the corresponding function. The another thing is that here it is you can see in the uh, theoretical and the practical clock pulse. In the left side theoretical it is totally up and down and 0 to 1, 1 to 0 in a straight line. But in the right side there is not accurate and there is something time is being taken that's why it's something slope to get to the one state it is directly does not go to the one step zero to one step so it takes some time and it is the practical clock pulse of the microprocessor because every machine takes some time to respond and that's why it taking some little bit time to respond and going to zero to one state that's why there is some slight it is not that like the theoretical and zero to one in one step you have no idea have the terms of this timing diagram today i will give you the timing diagram of output phase of 885 microprocessor so let's get started Here it is the timing diagram for the upcode fetch and here in the top of the this is clock pass is 4 times T1, 2, 3, 4 and in the of course it takes 4 clock cycle or 4 T states to complete it operation so here it is it is the 4 times and you can see this is the practical clock pulse not the theoretical as I mentioned earlier next one is the ALE here it is the ALE 
from the half of the first clock cycle it becomes 1 but the rest of the time it is low or zero because of in the upcode phase it is only for the some instance of time needed to get the addresses and rest of the time does not need because here it is the upcode phase no data operation is going on that's why it is the half of the clock cycle is on and rest of the clock pulse is zero next one is 80 to 87 here you can see in the about first clock cycle but something it's going to the second clock cycle because the machine as i said earlier the machine takes some time to respond and that's why here it is the some a0 to a7 that's when address is on and it takes some time to respond that's why it go to the next clock pulse and here remember one thing after that the dot dot line is there the dotted line means high impedance mode so in the high impedance mode it is active so first of this a0 to a7 that's when address is going on next time and the half of the second clock pulse and half of the th third clock pulse there is d0 to d7 so data is coming so when you giving the off code so address is getting out and after that the data is going there so data means your off code number is installed for data here so that's why it is the data is active next one is the a8 to a15 and here it is saying that totally active so address the higher bit is always active and that last of the day after after the work is done it is unspecified next one is the rd bar so here it is the rd bar i have mentioned when the data is operation is going on rd will be low and here it is the same thing when the d0 and d7 operation is going on the rd bar is low and the rest of the time rd bar is high the next one is the io slash m as i mentioned earlier that this is the memory related operation or the input output related operation as here it is no memory operation is going on so after some time the first clock pulse it is high and then it becomes low rest of the time next one is s0 and s1 as here it is a uh, upcut phase so here it is s0 and s1 will be 1 1 if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and comment if you have any query and any other instructions Timing that you need, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe Somtis because I'll be giving you more 85 Microsoft videos very soon. Thank you for watching.